So microphone audio can be one of the most frustrating experiences. It's something I personally have struggled with. I think everyone struggles with. So I just want to cover some of the settings you can do, how you can improve the quality, some of the basics. While there isn't a one size fits all settings, I want to give you a baseline and I'm just going to cover what I personally use for my settings and feel free to copy those and just make adjustments as you feel fit. So for reference, first things first, I'm currently using a HyperX Quadcast. I highly recommend this microphone. It's a really good microphone, but you can use these methods to improve the quality of anything that you do. Whatever you're using, it doesn't really matter. So first thing we're going to do, do you have an NVIDIA GPU? So you may have heard of NVIDIA broadcasts that can help you quite a bit. Now, when it first launched, it was called RTX voice when they were testing it and you would need an RTX GPU. Well, now you no longer need an RTX GPU. You can install NVIDIA broadcasts. I'll have all these links for everything we install in the description below. If you have an NVIDIA GeForce card of any type, feel free to try this, especially if you have a GTX 1080 or something around that line. Feel free to try it. It doesn't cost anything. It's supposed to go ahead and just pick up and start running whenever you install it. Even if you don't have an RTX GPU, I'm currently for reference, I'm running an RTX 3070. You'll go to this website, you'll click download now, you'll install it. After you install it, it's just a click straightforward install. So I'm not going to cover that. After you install it, you'll have this option here. When it opens up, you want to make sure your microphone source is correct. Make sure you have that set to whatever microphone you're actually using in here. In this case, it's a podcast. Now, noise removal is what we're concerned with. We want that to be on. But when that's slid to the right, that's on. We don't want strength to be maxed out. Because what that's going to do is that's going to filter out an insane amount of stuff. It's going to have a lot of false positives. If you talk too quiet, it's going to cut that out. You're going to have some weird muffling. So feel free to play with this slider, depending on what your noise levels are in your environment. I have mine set. You can feel free to start there if you want to and just slide it. The left makes it weaker right has stronger filtering so just kind of play with that it's really good for cutting out you know keyboard sounds in particular i have a noisy mechanical keyboard so that cuts it out pretty well so i always start with this nvidia broadcast if you can so recommend doing that turn that on i will say just from my own personal experience i do not recommend messing with the speakers for audio source and definitely not the camera the virtual green screen removal that stuff can be really heavy on your GPU, especially if you are single GPU streaming. Again, it doesn't hurt to play with it. I don't recommend using that stuff because it's pretty heavy. So another thing I would tell you to check is this sprocket here and go ahead and make sure that it's set to launch when Windows starts. And then it should start minimized each time you log in and you're set for that. So let me give you an idea of what it sounds like with my current setup. We're gonna to go to the audio mixer here, which yours may be located somewhere else, but it'll be, it'll look like this audio mixer. You'll find your microphone object. Now, after we have set that up, we wanna make sure that we go into the microphone object and it can still use your microphone directly. For example, if you have a quadcast or whatever, and that's probably what it's already set to. After you install NVIDIA Broadcast, you want to change it to NVIDIA Broadcast. And that way it'll use the filtered version that's already been processed. So just make sure that is set and then do OK. And then we're going to go back in here and we're going to go to filters. So to give you an idea, let's turn off all the filters. And this is what it sounds like without all my filters. So as you can tell, it's a night and day difference in audio quality with proper filters and without proper filters. So let me turn all these back on. So one of the first things we're going to start with 
is a noise gate. A noise gate, most people know what this is. It can help cut out some extra noise whenever you're not speaking. So a good starting point, if you just want to copy my settings right here, here's what I've started. You'll To add this, you'll do a plus down here and you'll add noise gate just right there. You can name it whatever. And once you have it, you can configure it. Here are my starting points. Now you can always look at your audio mixer. And when your microphone has activity, of course, you can see it, you know, bouncing up and down here. And you can see, you know, whether it's neg 25, neg 30, and you can kind of scale from there. So the two big important ones here is the closed threshold and the open threshold. So think of it as a gate. It's going to open up and allow, you know, recording of microphone sensitivity pickup at whenever it hits you neg 29 and close once it gets quieted enough let's say neg 34 is what mine's set to once it gets that quiet anything below that it doesn't want to pick up now of course if you're already talking and there's already sound you know above that threshold it's going to pick up other sounds that are in there too go ahead and copy these attack times hold times release times because i notice usually the default settings are a little too aggressive and you don't want it to just constantly be cutting cutting you off cutting you in and out so this makes all that a little bit more gradual so just go ahead and play with that that's a good starting point so the next thing we're going to do we're going to install some plugins now to install these plugins you're going to want to close obs let's go ahead i can't close obs obviously because <laughs> i'm doing the how to on it i'm using it right now so i'm going to have these filters, we're gonna install some filters. I'm gonna have these download links below. So the first one we're gonna install is TDR Slick EQ, and that's gonna be an equalizer that's gonna let us adjust our lows, our mids, our highs. And if we need to add you know, some kind of gain to make our microphone louder, we'll go ahead and do that too. And then the TDR Nova is another plugin we're gonna install. Again, I'll have all these links below. You'll go here, I would do just a Windows installer package for each one of these and just run through those because you're gonna need this piece too. This is gonna do some other things. It's gonna help you cut out some of the loud S sounds and stuff that can be picked up by your microphone. And then the TDR Kotelnikov, we'll install this one too. And this is gonna be our compressor. This is what's gonna keep us from blowing our audience's eardrums out and you know, keeping that good in balance. Then the last piece after that, we want to install the infected mushroom polyverse wider. And I'll show you what that does a little bit later. Again, I'll have all these download links below to take these websites. You'll click here to install that. Need OBS closed. After you've installed these four things, you can relaunch OBS. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our filters. We're gonna add a VST 2.x plugin. That's what each of these are. So whenever you add that, this is when you go and check which one these are. So I already have Slick EQ, so I don't need that, but this is where you'll add that. Each one of these will be that. So you'll do TDR, I'll slick EQ for the first one that we're going to do Go ahead and get rid of that. So after you add that, you can name it appropriately. You can open the plugin interface. So here are my existing settings. I know in the grand scheme of, you know, audio file professional world, it's like, no, you need to come up with your own unique environmental settings. Well, we're not all audio files. So we need a starting point. So again, feel free to copy these settings for a starting point. Pay attention to this frequency here is 50 Hertz. I don't believe I touched that at all. Be sure to check this right here. Change that, copy each one of these. I've got frequencies set to 85 Hertz. Gain currently set on 8.5. This will this will control the sound if you bring it up or down. You bring out your lows. So German, I have this set to German. It helps bring out some of those and give you a little bit more of that podcast sound in a way, a little bit more bassy sound if that's what you want. You just change that by toggling through here. So here's your mids, 
you can play, copy these settings. If you want to bring out more of your mids, you can adjust the gain that way. And you just click and scroll up and down is how that does. Click and drag, rather. Frequency, same. Here's your highs right here. And go ahead and set, set that button right there. And then outstage, we want that set to deep in most cases. And then here you go here, we can, we definitely want auto off. And you set your output gain here. I have mine on six. This is going to depend on your microphone and what the bass volume is for your microphone. So if you have a really quiet microphone, you may want to amplify it here. Of course, go in your Windows sound settings for your microphone itself and make sure that that's set appropriately. You have that turned up too. So after we're done with this, feel free to pause the video and have this set. Copy these settings and then we'll just close it out and it, it automatically remembers your settings. So the next one we're going to do is a Nova. And again, I added this by doing VST 2.x. Just add another VST plugin type. And then we'll go here and we'll select that in your drop down that you'll have and you'll open that plugin interface. And as you can see, it's catching this as I talk. So what we want to do is we want to make sure these middle two are off. We're not going to mess with those. So then we want one and four. We want each one of these on. And whichever one you're configuring at the time, is the one you'll need to click on. So we're gonna start with this first one right here. And just copy these settings right here. I'm not gonna, I'm trying, this video is gonna be pretty long. So I'm gonna try to just get through these without explaining everything. Here's some good starter settings. Feel free to start here. There's your gain, your frequency, your, your threshold, ratio, all of that, attack, release. Be sure to pay attention to those settings. And then we're going to slide it over to four right here. And here's some more settings for you to copy right here. Now this, if you'll notice, when I make the hiss, the S sound, it really peaks over here. And that's what that's trying to do is try to cut some of that out where it's not as sharp in your ears. So you can pause this video copy these settings. Again, these are good starting areas. Make sure you have your ratio set, like threshold, your gain, all of these, and then you're done. Those are the two things we're worried about there. We'll go ahead and make sure this is in eco mode and that way it's not just hammering your CPU too hard is the last thing I would check. When you're done, close this. And then there, well, Telnikov. <laughs> I'm really happy if I said that properly. <laughs> so we're going to go to this plugin. Again, we added that by doing the plus sign, adding VST object. And then we picked it in this drop down. And after you've done that, open your plugin interface. Now, this is your compressor. I will explain a little bit about the compressor. What it does is it keeps your microphone from peaking too hard. Let me see if I can get this over here. So you'll notice when I speak, we're in the yellow and I actually need to turn this down a little bit. Again, I'm not perfect. So when you yell or get really loud, this is going to go completely red. You don't want that to ever happen because it's going to hurt your audience's ears. So what the compressor does is it helps protect from that happening. So you can play with that. You can speak loudly. I don't want to blow your eardrums out testing it right now. But what you'll want to do is speak loudly as as loudly as you can imagine you would and see watch it redline on that meter over there. Speak as loudly as you ever would and watch it redline. So what we want to do go ahead and copy these settings. Again, we want this set to eco. You can go ahead and start here, pay attention to these settings here. Your attack, your you want set to RMS. Go ahead and start here with the release RMS ratio. Have all of these set accordingly. This again, I think these are going to be good starting points for most people. Output gain again. That's another place you can amplify it if um, your microphone is too quiet. Now 
the main one you'll play with after you have these set is threshold so when you click and drag down that changes the threshold and makes it more permissible so if you have this set down let's say 20 neg 24 or whatever and you yell and it's redlining just just adjust this accordingly and watch watch your meter in the audio mixer until when your loudest sound no longer redlines and that's going to compress it and keep it from doing that once you have that set you're done with this and you can go ahead and close that now my personal favorite which kind of freaks people out it's the effective mushroom wider plugin so again we're going to add it just like we added all the others it's a plus sign it's a vst plugin you'll add that and you'll pick it from the drop down and we're doing just wider regular wider you're going to open that what this does is adds a pretty neat stereo effect and you can play with this however you want so what you'll do is you'll click anywhere along here and you'll drag so you'll close it and you notice it went really kind of almost mono that's the default sound and then the more i expand this the wider and more stereo and more radio effect you get it can really freak people out you can get really crazy with it so you can play with that and just see what you like i have mine set on about 40 percent. some people like it you know a little lower than that just play 25 40 percent. you can get carried away with it or maybe you like that sound i mean it's up to you and whatever your style is so that's just a real fun one to play with i like that one it seems to add quite a bit of good you know good quality it has one of the biggest changes you can notice whenever you do that once you're done again with all of these there's nothing to save you don't have to worry about it it just remembers what you set whatever you last set you can just click x whenever you're done and those are done you don't have to worry about it the last thing i added was an expander the expander can also work to help kind of filter out some of these keyboard ticks and noises like that you don't necessarily need this but i would play with it and just see if it helps you out again here's some good starting points here you can play with the expander preset you can do your ratio go ahead and start with three to one i think is a good starting point your threshold I've got my threshold set to neg 32. You can play with that. Attack, release, output gain, and the detection method set that to RMS. So you can play with that. Again, that can help kind of cut out some of the keyboard sounds and stuff, or you can just test it out without that and you may be fine without it. So after you've done that, you're set. Now you can play with these and adjust accordingly, you know, however you want to. The main point of this video is to give you some tools to play with and at least a starting place because so many of us, and I'm the first to notice my, my weakness is audio. So I'm, this has taken me a long time to tinker with this and figure out, you know, these settings for my environment. So I just wanted to give other people a starting point instead of, you know, sitting here. Not a lot of people want to sit through, you know, an hour long video learning about everything about music they're just like hey give me the settings so i can just do this and move on <laughs> so that's the point of this no matter if you're not using filters there's a ton you can do that will help you quite a bit and it doesn't cost you anything at all so if you have any questions you can let me know in the comments below you can also check the description out we do have a discord I stream on Twitch nearly every day for the most part. If you just want to hop in any kind of troubleshooting stuff with streaming, I love talking about that kind of stuff and, you know, figuring things out. We've got several other videos that cover a lot of different subjects. Hope this has helped you out. Thanks.